We're just going to wrap up with one last question. Michael, I'm going to direct, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to direct this one directly to you. Um, what are the key differences between a CRM, a DMP, and a CDP? I'm going to answer this one, and I hope I don't get hacked uh, or you know, kill this part of it. But look, CRM is pretty much your first-party data, right? It's data about the customer, your customer data set. Like it's, you know, stuff that you know or the data that you know about your customer, right? So historical, this could be transaction data, um, you know, uh, sales data, that type of data set. Uh, so a CRM then just helps you... Uh, be able to utilize that data. So CRM stands for customer relationship management. And in most cases, it would be that type of data would be used for engagements, maybe direct marketing or, you know, uh, or stuff like that. So it's, it's very much first party data. Uh, a DMP is a data, ma uh, data management platform, right? Which is, you know, for a lot of them, they are very heavily dependent on third party cookies. Right. So that is why you're seeing a lot of uh, organizations that historically sold on DMPs are kind of like scaling back uh, and doubling back on their CDP initiatives. Right. So a lot of the big players in the market uh, are actually doing that. So they're actually moving that. So CD, uh, uh, DMPs are like a, um, they do ingest some of them. They do ingest first party data but it's in a hashed and anonymized way and it's very much aggregated, right? So you find that uh, example of demographic data would be a range as opposed to a specific number, right? So it's still quite um, uh, uh, anonymized as you ingest it into the DMP to run your initiatives. It obviously then integrates into your buying platforms, onto your on-site and whatnot, depending on the type of DMP and the capability. And the CDP now is almost like supercharging. Uh, it's almost like a hybrid between your CRM and your DMP from a capability perspective, which is a customer data platform where you then start to build very, very rich profiles about your customer, which are being driven by your first party data that comes from a CRM. If you have a CRM or some sort of um, uh, first party data source that gets ingested into, 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 into this uh, CDP. We're seeing, you know, uh, as a trend, a lot of organizations are jumping onto CDPs. I think even the poll earlier was pointing to the fact that a lot of people are thinking about CDPs. Uh, again, I think to Kristen's, uh, Kristen, sorry, earlier point where she said, um, could it be that it's a mobilization on the ground that is pushing this adoption? It could be true, right? Where a lot of the big tech companies that were pushing DMPs about four or five years ago announced that CDPs. Yeah. No, 